Okay, so always when you take notes for my class, you will copy the date, okay? Seven, September 2020, okay? The title, okay? Social Sciences Introduction Okay And we will copy the objective Okay The objective in this case Will be the same for this class And maybe the next two Okay So if we write today the objective we can continue using the same for the next classes, okay? This is basically understand what is geography, okay? And its components. Good? So always, you will copy the date, the title, and the objective. I'll try to put this close. Okay. Uh, now, the first thing that we will say about geography is that geography okay, is an interdisciplinary science okay this concept will be important okay geography is an interdisciplinary science that is the first thing okay do you know what does it mean do you know what does it mean no idea no but I will I'll close it up um, we will understand interdisciplinary, okay, as that kind of studies, that kind of sciences that use different sciences, okay, or additional sciences, knowledge from another sciences, from other sciences, to create a big understanding, okay. I will give you two examples. If we have to explain COVID, okay, COVID-19, what type of professionals will you include in that analysis? Imagine that you have to publish a book, okay? You have to write a book. And you have to find a group of professionals to write that book, okay? The book, will, the title will be COVID-19 uh, during the 2020. Okay, that's the title. Uh, Leia? Leia. Okay. I just like the Princess Leia. Okay. Um, one professional that you will include in that group of experts? Um, medical professionals. Okay, good. Doctors. We have to have, of course, doctors, okay? Um, your name? Giovanna. Ah, yes, Giovanna. Um, Another professional? Yes, another. For, for explaining COVID. Okay, we have a doctor. Okay, here, in this, in this group of experts. Another profession? Okay, scientists? Mm, good, okay, for what? Okay, okay, good. Your name is? Lirel. Lirel? <laughs> you always say your name wrong. Uh, okay, what other professional would you include? Okay, like experts in politics, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So what did the governments around the globe did? Okay, we have another expert, an economist. Okay, so we have a doctor, a scientific, uh, an, expert in pol an expert in politics, an expert in economy, what else? 
Okay, we can include more, but I'm trying to explain with this example that some topics can't be explained with only one uh, science or only one specific area of knowledge, okay? We need a lot of scientific, economics, uh, whatever, okay? So that is the first thing that we have to understand in geography, that we will talk about economy, biology, science in general, uh, we'll talk about politics, a lot of things, okay? Most of the things that we will talk about will be social sciences, okay? So I will explain you what are the social sciences, briefly, okay? Uh, and that's it, okay? Another example of interdisciplinary thing is poverty, for example. How do you explain poverty if you don't include experts in politics, experts in economy, experts in culture, and so on, no? That is basically what we have to do here in this class. The first two uh, sciences that I will write won't be explained today because uh, the activity number two is focused on that. That is geography and history, okay? So, geography and history are two of a long list of sciences that we have in the social sciences. But I won't explain them now, okay? We have sociology, economics, okay? Or economy, if you prefer. Uh, we have anthropology, psychology, politics, um, let me find some odd laws, linguistics, and pedagogy. Okay, I hope I'm not missing anyone, okay? But, okay, I repeat, this one and this, okay, these two, I will ignore them today, okay? But first, sociology. What is sociology? Do you know what does a sociologist do? Yes, yes, you, you are right, but I will specify this with an explanation. Sociology studies the relationships and the connections, okay, uh, the interactions between humans, okay, and humans with, in the, with institutions, okay? So we have the interactions between uh, you and me, okay? But we have to the interactions between you and the school, you and the government, you and the, your family, etc., etc. Okay. So if we say that sociology is focused on the interactions between humans and humans and institutions, we need to know what is an institution. What do you think is the definition of institution? What is your name again? Here? Oh, Stephen. Stephen. Oh, Stephen. Stephen. Sorry. Um, what is an institution? What do you think? Establishment. Okay, establishment. Uh, and you, what do you think is an institution? Not sure. Not sure? Okay. I will say that an institution is basically the space or the context where humans behave, okay, with humans act following specific rules, okay? So the basic institutions for humanity are the family, the religion, the state, the school or education, but not only those institutions. We have a lot of institutions, okay? Marriage is an institution too, okay? Uh, and basically, if you analyze those examples that I gave you, 
included specific rules, then you have to behave in that way, not in other, because if you are not following those rules, you will be in a trouble, okay? You will be in trouble. Uh, can you give me one example of one rule at home, one rule that you have in your house, that your parents say you can't do this or you have to do this? Leah. Okay, okay, that is one rule at home. Yeah. Okay, in my case, I remember, uh, and I always use this example, that we can't use the cell phone uh, in the table. We can't yeah. use the cell phone if we are sharing the food. No, that is one thing. Uh, for you, one rule that you have to follow at home. Um, I guess I'm not allowed to eat at my bedroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. And that's it. No, you have a specific rules for a, for a specific context. Okay, uh, and that is an institution. Okay, because that creates the basic uh, aspects of the society. Okay, you follow these rules, then you act in that way. Okay. I repeat the basic institutions: the family, the school the state and religion, but we have more, okay, we have more. And normally we focus on the state, okay, the state is very important in our analysis, okay, the constitution, the laws, etc., etc., okay. Economy, what do we do in economy? What do you think is the role, okay, or the job of an economist? No idea? Maybe study how um, the money works around the nation, like where the money goes, if it's going to school. Okay. Normally, students connect immediately, they, they link um, economy with money. And that is true. I mean, money is maybe the biggest topic, okay, sure. But not only that, okay, because we can study societies that never used money, okay? They only use the very basic exchange, okay, of products, and that is economy too, okay? So I can tell you that economy is the study of the way humans produce, trade, and consume goods and services, okay? So we produce, we trade, okay? and we consume goods and services. The difference between goods and services is basically that goods are material things, okay, like this marker, my cell phone, uh, this table or desk, okay, the share, material things, okay? And services are those things that are non-material but are absolute, absolutely useful for our daily life, okay? Uh, for example, uh, your cell phone, okay, the service that you have for your cell phone, the internet, you can call your mom, that is a service, okay? Because you can take, you can touch that call, but it's there, okay? Um, service could be if you need, for example, a personal uh, tutor that helps you with maths or something at home, that is a service, okay? Uh, and that is basically the idea, okay? And the economists study that, okay? They try to explain it on, and, of course, try to improve it, okay? Anthropology. Anthropology is the study... Oh, the first thing is that this concept comes from a word that is anthropos, okay? That is Greek, okay? And that is... Oh, that means humans. Okay, so if you see something, okay, a word that starts with anthropo something, anthropology, anthropocentrism, uh, or something like that, that means that humans, okay, are in the center of the discussion. But in this case, we will say that anthropology is basically, basically, not only this, but basically, 
the study of culture. Okay? Culture is the main reason for anthropologists. Okay? I have a question for you. Uh, I forgot your name, sorry. Stephen. What is culture? Okay, more or less. Yes, you, you, you are almost right, but I will simplify your definition, saying that if you want to take notes, it's, it will be good. Culture, okay, and something before you come. Culture will be a topic that we will study more or less one month or even two months. This is a very important topic for me and for geography, okay? So at this point, I will give you just the definition. Culture is basically the meanings that a group of people share, okay, and that makes sense for them, okay, that gives a reason for them to understand the world. Do you know what I mean? The meanings shared by a group of humans. That is basically culture, okay? The meanings shared by a group of humans, okay? Uh, when I say that, we can go from very simple and easy examples onto very complex and deep examples, okay? I only give this example is that, for example, for me, the first time that I uh, saw an Indian doing this movement, okay? I don't know if you are seeing, okay? This movement, I thought that they were saying no, okay? And then I discovered that was yes, okay? And was a little bit offensive for me because I thought that they were denying everything that I asked them, okay? So I thought that they were bad with me, okay? I, and I thought, I never imagined that Indians will be that bad people. And they were so good with me, always, okay? Because they were ready to help, okay? But that took more or less one month to understand that they, are, they were saying yes. Okay, of course, and I guess you understand, this movement is very close to this movement that is now for me, okay, and maybe for your culture too, okay? That is the first very simple and easy example. But now, what if we go to very complex topics, for example, the death, okay? For example, when somebody dies in your culture, okay? That is different, no? Because normally the funerals are different, uh, the rituals are different, uh, and in fact, the feelings, okay, could be different, okay? Uh, your name again? Mohammed. Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, where are you from? Again, Jordan. Jordan. Is the death of a relative, of a beloved yeah. person. Sad in your culture? It's very sad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. how, and can I ask you how is the funeral in your culture? I mean, uh, we, uh, we get the, you know. The body? Yeah, and then uh, we bury them first. And then the, you know, the relatives of the most close one to the dead, mm -hmm. they feed, you know, the relatives of the dead. I got it. You know, I like got it. For example, uh, let's say uh, Stephen's friend mm -hmm. died. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we get him, you know, food. Uh, okay. For a couple of days. You know? That is very different in my country. Okay, because that is what I what I'm trying to say. The meaning of the moment. Okay, the meaning of that situation and I can say that terrible situation because in my culture death is sad okay um, the meaning will be different okay what if I tell you that there are cultures no one no two a lot of cultures that celebrate they are very happy when the relatives die okay when the beloved person die I can tell you that this is true okay and that is maybe because they consider that now he is passing away to a very good moment 
in the existence, okay? The now he or she will be with God. What is better than that? What can be better than that, okay? So they celebrate, but real party, party, okay? Uh, and for example, the colors that we use in that kind of moments. In my country, we were black, okay? But in other cultures, they were white, completely white, okay? Because that means, if you read the definition, that means something different, okay? I always use this example, the students say, no, please, this is terrible, but it's true. There is an African culture that the biggest expression of love with that dead person is that they eat the body. They eat the body, okay? And they do that because they consider that that is the best way for having that person with me, okay? I have this person with me forever, okay? For the eternity. So I will eat that. That means, in other words, that they are eating the soul too, okay? So he will be with me or she will be with me. For us can be terrible, horrible, okay? But culturally, that means something different, okay? Cannibalism, maybe, or something like that, but that means something different. So you can analyze, okay, and we will do that. What is the meaning of very, what are the meanings or very, of very important things, like marriage, death, love, and a lot of things in different cultures, okay? We will try to analyze it. We study that here in anthropology, okay? Psychology, okay, is another science that study um, what? What do you think study uh, is the, the topic of psychology? Maybe not sure. Not sure? Yeah. Our mind? Yeah. Okay, yes, our mind, our behaviors, our feelings, okay? And yes, basically, we can say that this is different from the rest, maybe different from anthropology or sociology, that they study behaviors too. Because this is focused on individuals, okay? It's personalized, okay? This, okay, now in the modern psychology, we find so, uh, psychology for big groups, okay? Or social psychology, they are including like big groups. But normally, what we have here is that they will analyze why this particular person, this specific person, uh, is suffering for something, okay? Why this person is sad, why this person is that violent, why this person is doing this or that, that probably is affecting uh, his, himself, okay? Or the beloved people that is next to him. Okay, clear? Uh, something important and something that I will recommend, okay, is that you have to stop thinking that psychology is only for moments when you have a problem, okay, or even worse, when you are crazy, okay? That idea of psychologists are for crazy people, that is not good, because in fact, the recommendation is as you go to the dentist, okay, uh, or you go to the doctor that will check your body and if you are okay, my recommendation is go to the psychologist too. Because, and I guess you will agree with me, if your knees are important, okay, if your tooth are important, what about your mind? It's your brain, okay, it's your feelings, okay, the, it's something absolutely important. So try to go to the psychologist, that doesn't mean that you are crazy or that you, okay, no, normal, try to normalize it, okay, and you will find something absolutely positive, okay. Politics, what is politics? When we study politics, what do we study? What do we study? Study of the government body. Okay, the government. Yes, we focus mostly in, in the government, yes. But I will tell you something. When we study politics, we focus on the concept power, okay? Politics is the study of power. 
Now, the question is, what is power? Okay? Because if, imagine this, in a quiz, okay, I ask you, what is politics? And you say, the study of power, you are saying nothing because at the same time you are not describing what is power. Okay? Power is the capacity, and that is the concept that we'll use, power is a capacity. Okay? And it's the capacity that one person or one institution has to modify behaviors, okay? To do a person or to press or to change the behavior of another, okay? Or of another, sorry. Um, I can make you start doing something that you were not doing or I can stop you doing something that I don't want to that I don't want you to do, okay? Uh, yes, I don't want you to do. Uh, if, you, if you are playing with your, in your PlayStation, okay? You are there playing FIFA, okay? Football all day, and your dad comes and say, turn it off and go bed because it's time to sleep. You turn it off and you go to sleep, okay? Because he has the power, okay? He can modify your behavior. He can modify your activities. Okay? He can push you to do something that you didn't want. Okay? Or he can convince you. That is another option of power. Okay? Because not, it's not only aggressive. It can be persuasive too. Okay? And I change, or the other person, uh, another person changes your uh, ideas, your behaviors, your whatever. I have a question then. What are the yes, like the figures of the people that represents power for you? Okay. Or that I would say that exercise power above you. Okay? You personally. I can say my boss, for example. Okay? Okay, you. Teachers. Teachers, yes. Normally, normally there is a relationship between teacher, student then normally is a relation of power. Yes, that is true, okay? Uh, it's not, I hope, that is the idea, uh, won't be a relation of violence or oppression, will be a relation of power to, in order to educate the, and to modify behaviors in a positive way, okay? It's like a soft power, okay? That is what I, Try to do. <laughs> um, okay, who else? Parents? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Who else? Okay, so we have teacher, parents, president, president of the government. We can say the government and everyone that represents the government. Okay, the sheikh of Qatar, uh, the president of your country, or something like that. Okay, the mayor of the city, and so on. Who else? Try to think in this concept, authority. Who else? Mm, does the law count? The law. Ah, yes, sure, yes. Uh, but that is not a person. Yeah. But, but it's true, the law is power. Yes, you are right, the law is power. Um, for example, the police, okay, yeah. or the army, okay? And they have a particular power that we will try to understand in another moment but basically they have the power of violence okay they can use the violence in a legal way okay and in a legitimate way okay uh, we can't okay i mean i can be violent for sure but that would be a crime okay if they have to use the violence they won't be judged as criminals it, it's their job okay uh, now I have a question for you. Who are the people, okay, that is suffering, okay, or receiving your power? Or in other words, do you have any power? My little sister. Your little sister, okay, yes. Same? Yeah. If you see at this point you have little power, okay, you have not that much power, and that is one of the reasons why teenagers, I, I understand this, why teenagers normally are more rebel, okay, more that they try to 
fight with everyone that represents power because normal it's normal that you feel that teacher parents the president the police everyone is that you feel that they are pressing you oppressing you a lot okay and you need to reject that okay but when, one day you will understand that first it was almost necessary always if that was a good example of power you know what i mean no because violence is power too okay if i hit you and i say do this you will change your behavior but it's violent okay the idea is that and this is important you have to to write it if you want violence is an example of uh, power okay the worst that you can find but is power okay uh, now the question is when do you start to have power probably when you can participate in democracy or that kind of things okay when you can exercise your rights as a citizen okay as a minor okay as 18 or less than 18 okay you are protected okay all the time you are protected that is good for you okay but when you when you are 18 or more of course you are protected but additionally you have a lot of rules to follow and a lot of um, I forgot this word that is obvious there are a lot of things that you have to do responsibilities yes could be yes you, you have a lot of things to do okay uh, that is basically what means to have a power now so having power you can feel that they have power against me and I hate that but when you know that that power means a lot of responsibilities that sometimes are difficult you will say mm, I prefer to be a teenager okay <laughs> because sometimes it's difficult you have to pay taxes you have to do this and that okay it's, it's difficult okay being adult is not easy <laughs> laws that is another thing that is a little bit obvious okay if your father or your mom is a lawyer basically is related or is connected to laws we study here how to create okay and how to use the laws very simple and the final thing that I will say here is that normally the laws are connected to cultural ideas okay uh, will be very difficult for me to create a law in my country following Islamic principles okay because that is not part of my culture we respect we admire your culture but we are not Arabs we are not Muslims so we have other ideas okay it will be very difficult for you to accept some rules that are normal in my country okay the laws depend on the the culture too okay and this tool I will say this very simple linguistics are basically the study of languages the connections okay the roots of languages and this is very important I hope you will understand this sentence we will try to explain how the language creates the world okay that is very deep this is philosophy very deep philosophy and I will repeat the sentence the language creates the world okay that is the, the sense we will discuss this idea in another moment not today but I give you that okay and pedagogy is basically the study of education okay how to educate people uh, how you learn how I teach okay etc etc but we won't focus too much on this um, and that's it I will turn this